big four equations are a way to predict motion when there is constant acceleration. And you have five variables that you're working with. You have D, VF, VI, A, and T. And in any of the equations, you'll have four of these variables present. Equation one that we use is VF equals VI plus A, T. It has VF, VI, A, and T in it. So if you know three of these and you're looking for one, you'll have the information to find it. The second equation that we use is D equals VF plus VI over two times T. This gives us our average velocity and this gives us time and distance equals average velocity times time. And in this one, we have the D, VF, VI, and T. We might not know what the acceleration is, but we have the rest of the information to solve. Equation three is one you'll use quite a bit. You have D equals VIT plus one half AT squared. So you see two T in here twice. T is here and here. And so this one has D, V, I, A, and T. You're not, you don't know what the final velocity is, but you don't need to know to use this one to solve. If acceleration is zero, zero times anything equals zero, so you would just have D equals V, I times T. If your V, I is zero, V, I, zero times anything is zero, so you would have D equals one half A, T squared. So pay attention to zeros when you're looking at that one. And then four, the fourth one we have is VF squared equals VI squared plus two AD. This is one you'll use if you don't have the time. You know your final velocity, initial velocity, acceleration, and distance, so you're looking for one of those. It has distance, it has VF, VI, and A, and it's the only one that you can solve if you don't know the time and you don't need to know the time. So these are the big four equations that you're working with. When you're working with the equations, you want to make sure that you get your variables down to start. Because when you get your variables down, let's say you have some problem and in that problem it says, well, your D is uh, 15 meters and your VI is zero and your A is, I don't know, 1.2 meters per second squared, solve for T, write down the things that you know, write down what you're looking for, because if you can do that, there's only one equation that will match. In order to use this to solve this, I would need to find one that has D, V, I, A, and T in it. Well, the only one that has D, V, I, A, and T in it is equation three. So if you can determine your variables well, it will help lead you to the equation that you need. So then I would say D equals VIT plus one half AT squared. And then you could continue the problem on from there.